what happened? Um, basically, it, I mean, at first we were, it was during the rehearsal at the Miss USA competition that year, and he had walked in, and my dad had seen him, and he just introduced himself, and then introduced me, and the first time it was just like a, kind of a quick hug and a kiss on the lips, and I was shocked just because I was like, what was that? I've never had anybody greet me like that. And I just um, almost wanted to wipe my mouth just because I felt awkward and kind of embarrassed. And, and then I just kind of excused it as, well, I guess maybe that's how people on the East Coast greet each other. I was very naive and young at the time. So. And, and it wasn't a public place. I mean, your father saw this happen. There were, I, mean, it, I mean, it was just at the rehearsal. So, I mean, there were, there were a few parents around, but it was mostly contestants there and people on his production team. So then uh, you, you had a chance again to meet him at Trump Tower. I did. And, and this time it was similar but also different. So what happened then? Um, it was different, um, but it was similar. Yeah, I, we were... I was there with two chaperones. He had invited me out there. He said he was going to introduce me to um, Ford and Elite modeling agencies. And then I had, he told my um, sponsor that I had a huge career of, ahead of me and a great look. And so I was excited to go out there and see what I could do. Um, so I went out there, sat outside. His receptionist called him back. And when he came out to greet me, he gave me another embrace and a kiss. It was a little different this time. It kind of felt like, um, it just felt like a little bit more to me. Um, so I did, I felt awkward and I just remembered in my mind going, what does he think this is? Like, I'm thinking he's married, this is awkward for me, he's much older, this is not at all what I came here for. So I just, I, to me it was like, I hope he knows that I'm here for business, I'm not here for anything other than business. And, that, and it did impact you? Uh, it did, yeah. At that time, for sure it did. Because I was young and it was, it was just different. And uh, instead of staying there for the several weeks that I was supposed to stay there and finish all the things that he had set up for me. I felt awkward where, I think it was just after the first week, I just thought, I can't do this. And I got myself my own plane ticket and I flew myself home. I mean, that, that says a lot about how it made you feel. Yeah. Um, Trump has responded to your claims. And I just want to read for you what he said. Um, he gave a statement to NBC News and he said, talking about you specifically, Temple, I'll read it, I don't even know who she is. She claims this took place in a public area. I never kissed her. I emphatically deny this ridiculous claim. How do you respond to that? Well, um, it's, it's crazy. I mean, because back in May, when the New York Times first came out, originally he tried to deny They all published the a story mentioning your yes. name and the, the kiss at uh -huh. the pageant. Yes. And that was something I didn't even think I would be put in. I did not think anybody would care about this kiss. It, I, I actually had something else I was talking about um, that he had spoken to me about in his office. Um, and that's what I'd brought up. But I just brought up the fact that he'd kissed me when he met me. And it got put in the article. And next thing I know, he's denying all the allegations. And I kept quiet because I thought, oh my gosh, I just want this to go away. I'm a mom. I don't want this attention. I went into hiding, ignored all the media. And within a few weeks, I noticed that the Daily Mail had posted an article of him saying, oh, I do remember Miss Utah. She was a nice girl. She was with her parents. I, mm. I met her before the pageant. Uh, she, he acted like there was an audience there is what he talked about. And he's like, she gave me a hug and I gave her a kiss on the cheek. And I'm, I would never hug somebody mm. of his stature and his um, celebrity status. I would just never go up to a man and do that. Uh, you know, I might do that to a, a friend of mine that I know or her, her, like my best friend, her husband. I love them. And so he'll come up and give me a sideways hug. That's it. Sideways hug, not a hug and a direct kiss on the face. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, it's, so when I hear that and then I hear this, him say he doesn't even know me. Now he's saying he doesn't even know you, it's but you're crazy. saying months ago it's he's crazy. quoted saying you were a nice girl and he knew you and giving circumstances of what happened. Yeah. So completely he different. He just flip flops for sure.